straight up Mount Glorious for what should be uh, the ride to end and it's a festive 500 which is uh, day 7 at the festive 500 I've got 45 kilometres to complete uh, this ride they should get up to 64 by Eddington for the year and then uh, tomorrow, probably only got about 80 k's to do to get 12,000 for the year, so I'm looking forward to that. But now climbing. Sometimes I forget how spectacular it is up here. Hardly any cars or motorbikes today. In the first half hour I saw one car, one cyclist, one motorbike. Shortly after, before other cyclists, a couple of cars, not much. Now I've been riding 45 minutes. Now I've been riding 45 minutes. It's good. So that was Mount Glorious today, uh, where two milestones fell. The first one was the Festive 500, and the second one was the 63K uh, Eddington that I set my for myself this year. So I'm pretty uh, happy about that. Um, I don't know why I chose to go up Mount Glorious. I mean, it's not the easiest way to finish uh, a distance-based uh, challenge. I forget how beautiful it is. Um, and as you saw, the first um, half an hour or so, there was nobody about. Um, got right to the top to the cafe, just turned around and come, came back down. Um, I don't like to spend too much time there. Um, and then got moving on the descent. I had some fun from about Jolly's onward. Uh, the roads were nice and dry, uh, sun coming through the trees. Yeah, it's just a fantastic ride um, to have uh, in my backyard. So glad I've got that opportunity to get up there. It's actually, um, how far is it from the gap? It's about 32 k's from the gap. So yeah, up there and back, it's, uh, it climbs about 600 meters in 28 k's. Um, it's fairly, um, there are a few steep ramps in it. Um, it's fairly undulating between Nebo and Glorious. And then uh, there's two uh, quite steep sections of about 19 to 20%. So. Yeah, it's certainly a challenging climb. Um, it's good to um, feel confident on a climb like that and uh, be able to get down it in one piece. Um, it's not so good in the wet. Um, you know, people have had fairly um, substantial injuries coming down there. 
Um, and as you've seen in other videos that I've done, uh, there are um, a couple of ways to get off the mountain. Most of the people that I saw up there today were going up the goat track and uh, then coming down past Nebo into the gap, um, which uh, seems to be the um, most popular way of getting up there these days. Um, the popularity of gravel, um, also the fact that the goat track is a very steady climb to get up there, whereas uh, if you go straight up the Nebo Glorious Road, you've got a lot, lot of ups and downs to contend with. You seem to be always uh, losing ground, gaining ground, losing elevation, gaining elevation. So anyway, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, um, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, make sure you hit that like button too. Uh, it really helps. And I'll see you out there on the road. Peace.